Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In previous video, we saw the discrete time Fourier series representation. Now, let us see the sums based on each. For example, let us take x of n is equal to 3 cos pi n by 4. But for solving every sum, there should be a need for the test of periodicity. So for testing the periodicity, that is x of n plus capital N, that is 3 cos pi by 4 n plus capital N. So let us expand this term. It gives 3 cos pi n by 4 and pi capital N by 4. Now we should focus on this term. Capital pi n by 4 should be an integral multiple of 2 pi. So let us consider that pi n by 4 is 2 pi into m. So if we consider that n is equal to 8m, so let us focus on m. m should be 1. So it gives period of n is equal to 8. x of n is periodic and as it is a periodic signal, the Fourier series does exist. So let us see the fundamental frequency. The fundamental frequency is given by omega 0 is equal to 2 pi by n, that is pi by 4. Now let us find out Fourier coefficients. Fourier coefficients are given by the formula c of k is equal to 1 by n sigma n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e raised to minus j 2 pi k n by n for k is equal to 0 to n minus 1. So let us substitute the values in this above term. So it gives ck is equal to 1 by 8 sigma n is equal to 0 to 7 3 cos pi n by 4 e raised to minus j 2 pi k n by 8. So let us further simplify this term. It gives 3 by 8 sigma n is equal to 0 to 7 cos pi n by 4 e raised to minus j pi k n by 4. Now let us expand these terms. For expanding these terms we need to see n year and year. So n ranges from 0 to 7. So let us go one by one. So it gives 3 by 8 that is the common term cos of 0 into e raised to 0 as n is equal to 0. For n is equal to 1 cos of pi by 4 e raised to minus j pi k by 4. And further n ranges from 2 to 7. So let us substitute values directly. After substituting all the values of n, we get these all terms. This term may look big, but after simplifying, it results into a much smaller term. That is 3 by 8, 1 plus 1 by root 2, e raised to minus j, pi k by 4, plus 0 minus i by root 2, e raised to minus j, 3 pi k by 4, minus e raised to minus j, pi k minus 1 by root 2 e raised to minus j 5k by 4 plus again 0 plus 1 by root 2 e raised to minus j 7 pi k by 4. So this term again can be simplified. So let us further simplify this. For creating common terms, we have to manipulate these terms. So for manipulating these terms, they can be made minus 8 plus 3. That results into minus j 5k 5 pi k by 4. So after simplifying these terms, we get minus j 8 pi k by 4 plus j 3 pi k by 4. That is minus j pi k by 4 and minus j 8 pi k by 4 plus j pi k by 4 that results into minus j 7 k by 4. So this will result into simplification along with this and these terms. So we simplify again move further. So we simplify the term into minus e raised to minus j 2 pi k and e raised to minus j 2 pi k. So the value of e raised to minus j 2 pi k is 1. Again, for doing this, we have used a simple e raised to x plus y property. That is e raised to x plus y is equal to e raised to x into e raised to y. Now further, we are going to use cos theta property. That is cos theta is equal to e raised to j theta plus e raised to minus j theta upon 2. So grouping all the terms we are going to make cos theta. So as this term is 1 and this term is 1, we are grouping e raised to minus j pi k by 4 and e raised to j pi k by 4. So we get 2 cos pi k by 4. Similarly, we are grouping e raised to minus j 3 pi k by 4 and e raised to j 3 pi k by 4. That gives 2 cos 3 pi k by 4. As sine 2 pi k is 0, this is the final term. So now we have to substitute the values of k is equal to 0 to k is equal to 7. So we'll get the coefficients of the Fourier series. When k is equal to 0, ck, that is c0, is equal to 3 by 8 
bracket 1 plus root 2 cos pi into 0 divided by 4 minus root 2 cos 3 pi into 0 by 4 minus cos pi into 0. This results into 3 by 8 into 0. After simplifying this, this term results into 1 plus root 2 minus root 2 minus 1. So finally the value is 3 by 8 into 0. So this comes as 0. After substituting k is equal to 1 to 7, we get these values. Only c1 and c7 are 1.5. Rest all comes out to be 0. Finally, the Fourier series representation of x of n is given by x of n is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to k minus 1 ck e raised to j 2 pi k n by n. This is the general formula. So after simplifying and putting the values, we get sigma k is equal to 0 to 7 ck e raised to j pi a n by 4. So after expanding this term, we get c0 e raised to 0 plus c1 e raised to j pi n by 4 plus c2 e raised to j 2 pi n by 4 and similarly the rest of the terms. After substituting c1 and c7, we get 1.5 e raised to j omega naught n plus 1.5 e raised to j 7 omega naught n where omega naught is pi by 4. So finally we get the Fourier series representation of x of n. Thank you.